Let us know about applying reasoning to make decisions. Everyone makes decisions in daily life. Some of our problems are so general that we hardly take any time to decide on them. But sometimes when a problem is complex, it needs our wisdom and experience to take decisions. Difficult situations require more reasoning and skills to solve problems. Let us understand this with a simple mathematical equation. For example, problem to calculate the sum of the first 10 odd numbers. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19 equals to 100. Solution Looking at the first 10 odd numbers from 1 to 19, we can easily notice that 1 plus 19 is equal to 20, 3 plus 17 is equal to 20, 5 plus 15 is equal to 20, 7 plus 13 is equal to 20, 9 plus 11 is equal to 20. In this problem, there are 5 pairs. When these are added individually, the answer comes out to be 20, as shown above. Therefore, the sum of odd numbers is 5 into 20 equals to 100. Hence, by following the above method, we can calculate the sum of first 20 or 50 odd numbers easily. For example, we can solve the simple equations quickly like 15 plus 15 is equal to 30. 60 divided by 3 is equal to 20. 16 into 2 is equal to 32. 40 minus 25 is equal to 15. When the mathematical equation is complex, it needs our right reasoning to solve it. 8 into 35 plus 20 plus 160 divided by 4 plus 3 carat 3 minus 5 into 150. Here we need to apply the board mass rule to give correct solution. For example, let us take another situation. Suppose you have to select two games in your school from the given list. Conditions There are certain conditions and rules to be followed by every student before making the selection from the given list of eight games. Rules to select the combination of games are as follows. Each student has to select at least two games. The selection of one game from each section is mandatory. The periods for two selected games should not fall on the same day. For example, look at the shapes given here. The main steps in logical thinking are Number 1. Task Read the problem carefully. Here three shapes are given. What comes next in the sequence? Number 2. Identify. Goal. To find the fourth shape in the sequence. Information. In the sequence, the first shape has four sides. The second shape has five sides. And the third shape has six sides. Condition. In the sequence, the number of sides of the shapes is increasing by one. Number 3. Solve. To achieve the goal by using the given information and following the condition. Reasoning. The next shape should have 7 sides. That is, 6 plus 1 equals to 7. Solution. To work out the solution in step-by-step -step manner. Using computational thinking for programming. When you are developing an IT application, computational thinking enables you to work out exactly what to tell the computer to do and then convert the solution into a programming language. Let us learn about importance of computational thinking. The computational thinking technique gives us the courage to solve problems and design systems that none of us would be capable of tackling alone. Moreover, the practice of computational thinking fosters key skills in children like Perseverance. Children learn not to give up and learn not to be intimidated by the complexity of a problem. Like, in the previous example, Aryan was able to accomplish a large and a new task by following the principles of computational thinking. Debugging. 
in the process of trying various possible solutions and finding the most appropriate one, children learn to find and fix errors. In the given example, Aryan broke down the project into smaller tasks and assigned the duties to the volunteers. This way, if there is an error in the procedure, it will be easy to identify where the error has occurred and rectify it. Creating Children learn to think creatively and innovative novel solutions. They also learn to develop models for multiple uses. For example, when Aryan realized that planting seedlings will be too expensive, he found a way to make seedlings at home. Experimenting Children gain the courage to experiment and lose the fear of failure. Students, let us take a recap of this lesson. Computational thinking is a problem-solving thought process which includes logical reasoning, devising step-by-step -step solutions and designing systems. There are five key components of computational thinking. Analysis, decomposition, pattern recognition, abstraction and algorithm design. Analysis means understanding the problem and conditions and defining the goal. Decomposition means breaking down a large problem into smaller parts which are easier to understand and manage. Pattern recognition means observing patterns, trends and similarities in data. Recognizing patterns help us to make predictions and use the techniques that have been proven to solve similar problems in the past. Abstraction means filtering out irrelevant details of the problem to focus on the relevant ones. Algorithm design means developing the list of steps that we can follow to finish the task. An algorithm employs logical thinking to develop a step-by-step -step strategy to solve any problem. Logical thinking helps us to develop a step-by-step -step solutions for any given problem. The practice of computational thinking fosters key skills in children like perseverance, debugging, creating and experimenting.